Hey, Joe Alden, MD here. And I'm Amy Alden, ARNP. Our focus is disaster, epidemics, and first aid preparedness. We want you to know what to do in situations where medical help may not be available for the short term or even the long haul. One of the ways we offer this information is through our videos. If you like our videos, we hope you'll subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Joe Alden, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of doomandbloom.net, where you'll find close to 900, whew, 900 post videos and podcasts on medical preparedness for any disaster. Together with my wife, Amy Alton, a nurse practitioner, we're the New York Times and Amazon best-selling authors of the brand new 700-page, wow, third edition of the Survival Medicine Handbook and other books, including this year's Zika Virus Handbook, plus the designers of the awesome board game, Doom and Bloom Survival, named by the Prepared Family blog as a teaching preparedness resource of the week. We're in the midst of an epidemic of allergies in the U.S. and severe allergic reactions like anaphylaxis could be life-threatening. Epinephrine is used for the emergency treatment of allergic reactions to stinging or biting insects, food, drugs, and other allergens, as well as even exercise-induced anaphylaxis. Yes, you can be allergic to exercise, but don't use that as an excuse to be a couch potato. I'm watching you. Epinephrine is most commonly used these days in an auto-injector that's fast and easy to use. In the United States, one brand of auto-injector, the EpiPen, manufactured by a subsidiary of Pfizer Pharmaceuticals and marketed by Mylan, M-Y-L-A-N Corporation, is considered the gold standard. Annual sales of all epinephrine auto-injectors were about $200 million in 2007. EpiPen had about 90% of that market. In 2015, the market size grew to $1.5 billion, and EpiPen still has the lion's share. Well, in a move that might be described by some as profiteering, Mylan has raised the U.S. price from around 100 bucks for a package of two EpiPens in 2007 to around $600 in 2016, although it is still less expensive in the U.K. and Canada. The devices, by the way, deliver about $1, $1 worth of drug. In a public relations move, Mylan made savings cards worth up to 300 bucks available to some patients to purchase EpiPens. Unfortunately, these can only be used by a small number of people who need the drug and doesn't seem to include people on Medicaid. Now, the high prices paid by insurers, however, haven't changed and they pass the cost on to consumers in the form of higher and higher health insurance premiums every year. So what's your best option if the EpiPen is now outside of your financial reach? It might be using vials or ampules of epinephrine, small syringes, and maybe some antiseptic wipes. The 1 to 1,000 epinephrine concentration ampules, they're 1 milliliter in total and contain enough for maybe a one-time use of up to two doses. The same concentration vials are usually 30 milliliters and they're made for multiple uses. Now here's how to use epinephrine that's packaged this way. One to 1,000 epinephrine solution contains one milligram of drug per milliliter or cc of solution. For a person weighing 30 kilograms, that's about 66 pounds or greater, give 0.3 to 0.5 milligrams, that's 0.3 to 0.5 milliliters, into the anterior lateral thigh. Now that's right about here, about the level of your, I guess the bottom of your jeans pocket. Repeat that dose every five to 10 minutes, alternating left and right thighs as needed until improvement is noted. Now remember though that epinephrine has side effects. It can cause a rapid heartbeat, cause nervousness, and indeed a whole set of other side effects that you should learn about. Of course, in normal times, get the victim to modern medical care as soon as possible, especially if more than two doses were needed. Now, for children weighing less than 66 pounds, the formula for allergic reactions, anaphylaxis, is 0.1 milligrams per kilogram. It's about 2.2 pounds. 
So a small child weighing 20 kilograms or 44 pounds would receive 0.2 milligrams. That's 0.2 milliliters if you use 1 to 1,000 epinephrine solution. The concentration is very important. 1 to 1,000 epinephrine solution. The maximum pediatric dose is up to 0.3 milligrams. That's 0.3 milliliters of epinephrine 1 to 1,000. Now this all might seem complicated to you and indeed it will take longer to deliver the product than with an auto injector like the EpiPen unless you keep some small syringes perhaps pre-filled with the medication. Something that you don't have to fill up in the middle of an emergency. In a 2010 article in the Asian Pacific Journal of Allergy and Immunology, manually pre-filled syringes were recommended as a way to keep ready to use epinephrine available at all times. And it appears that the medication remains potent and uncontaminated by bacteria or fungus for about three months. After that, it changes color and all bets are off. Now this also assumes though that the syringes are stored at room temperature. High temperatures will affect potency considerably over time. Now in a future video, we'll show you how to properly prepare a pre-filled syringe of epinephrine or really any injectable drug from a vial or ampule. Now remember that the practice of medicine without a license is illegal and punishable by law. Seek modern and standard medical care whenever and wherever it is available. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health and good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like this video, make an old man, me that is, very happy by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Dr. Bones Nurse Amy, following us on Twitter at Prepper Show, and joining our Facebook group pages at Doom and Bloom or Survival Medicine Dr. Bones Nurse Amy. And don't forget, Nurse Amy's entire line of medical kits are at store.doomandbloom.net. That's store.doomandbloom.net. Fill those holes in your medical storage. Thanks again.